Alright guys, welcome back to another adventure of Peacock Bash. As you can see, we're at Predatory Fins right now, after hours, and basically we're going to make this quick. I came here to buy myself a small gift for hitting a thousand subscribers. If you can, hit the comment section below and guess what am I buying myself from Predatory Fins today. Woo woo! What's going on bro? Yes sir, yes sir. What's going on yeah, here? Yeah, you know me, I was piping, bro. Yeah, man, Rod, laying down some pipe, you know. The ultimate goal here is to find a little gift for myself. We hit a thousand subscribers, so I want to buy myself a little small gift. If you guys can, take a guess in the comment section below. What do you think we're going to leave with today? Bro, can you see the Tementus? Look how big this thing is. Right there. That's why people don't understand why these fish cost so much. After that is to go into the shipping, and then you got the price of the fish to pay for. So. But look at them. This fish is amazing. This fish is freaking beautiful right here. That, my friend, is Ralph's dream fish. He always dreamt of having a flower horn. And one day you will have it, my friend. Trust me. Yes, I will. Yes, you will. I'm gonna touch this crane like this. It's you know, not this called thing. a crane, it's called a cock. Whatever the fuck <laughs> it's called it. a cock. <laughs> with a big bag of silver size. He ain't cool. I don't know what we're about to do. We're obviously gonna feed some fish, but I don't know who we're feeding. Let's go. Bye. Oh, we're gonna feed the silver size. Oh. 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 Only at Predatory Fins, you don't get this late night action just like this. It's like 10, 11 o'clock at night and we're out here feeding fish, bro. 
That was awesome. We got wet. We yeah. Did. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Give this video a like if you think that was awesome. So I know that you pretty much see this on everybody else's channel with predatory fins. This monster tank and these iron pipes. Give the video a like if you think that was pretty awesome. Give this video a like. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about all these monsters? Let me know. What's your dream tank? Because uh, looking over here, I think I found mine. Of course, the Arapaima, I think that's everybody's, one of everybody's favorite fishes to have, you know, or to own a dream fish. But I think that many platinums is also a dream to have. Not just the Arapaima, like 10 platinum red tail, giant platinum short body, regular body, all types of bodies. So guys, I don't know if you guys hit the comment section below. Take a guess, what, which one of these fish are we leaving with for predatory fins today? Next time I get some red drop, I'm coming back and I'm this bad one. This one right here? I like this one, he's like all up in your face and everybody's like to the, to the back of the glass. I'm gonna give him to you. We got our monster from Predatory Fins. If you get Sabrina Pike, and you are right. Guys, this, this is probably the holy grail of all pike cichlids. What do you think about this fish, bro? What is your opinion on the Sabrina Pikes? I mean, it's pretty colorful, dude. It's one of the, it's definitely the prettiest ones. But, you know, see how he does with other pikes. I don't have any other pikes. Right no, now, this fish good. is gonna be completely by himself in a 200 gallon. So he's gonna take all the love. All right, man, we're gonna get up out of here. I appreciate doing business with you, bro. Always, bro, my pleasure. What's up, you buying something or no? You giving me something for free for my help? Man, come on, just get him out of here. <laughs> well, everything I want is always sold every time I come. Sold, sold, oh, that's sold, oh, it's going in. It is day two with the pike cichlid. And as you can see, he has acclimated to the tank pretty well. He's found himself a little hiding spot right here up under the rocks. And he has another hiding spot back here right between the plants. He goes in through here and his head just like kind of rests on the rock while his body's just kind of curved around. This fish is only territorial if it's being messed with by a different fish. So if one fish comes and picks on this fish, this fish, the pike cichlid, will probably have problems or issues with that fish for the, for the time that they live together. Fish can be relatively expensive. As you can see, the colors on this thing, like, astounding. I can't even describe it. This camera does absolutely no justice, and the tank light isn't really that bright, and it's not helping. But this fish is very personable. He comes out, he watches the dogs play, and he comes up to me. I fed him tilapia already. He's eating a couple pieces. But if I get too close with this camera, he'll hide away in that corner right there. Very personable fish. I love this fish. I do feel like this fish is absolutely worth it. And for those who are wondering about all the other fish that was in here, they are actually outside in the pool pond. And you'll be surprised how big some of those things got out there. It is absolutely crazy how big some of the fish got outside in the pool pond. But for right now, we're focusing on our Zabrina Pike cichlid. As you can see, the fish is absolutely beautiful, stunning. Reds, oranges, all types of zebra patterns at the back of the tail, and that bright reddish orange underneath the chin. This fish is absolutely amazing. And like I said, I'm 100% satisfied with this fish. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, leave a comment, leave your thoughts below. This is a Zabrina Pike and it is known to be the holy grail of all pike cichlids.